I'm Yanelli, also known as Miss Be Helpful, with another FinCap Friday brought to you by NGPF. The 2021 holiday season was the first time so many gift givers reported plans to gift cryptocurrency or stocks to their loved ones for the holidays. Experts say this craze is a result of the stock market and cryptocurrency becoming more and more mainstream due to technology advancements and online tools for investing that are making it more accessible than ever before. Also because of the shift to a more digital world due to the COVID-19 pandemic. After 2020, investing boomed. In large part, this was because of Reddit, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok influencers promoting investing and trading platforms, many of which are free to get started with. But it's not just influencers. Celebrities jumped into the mix too. Artists like Miley Cyrus, Lil Nas X, and Megan Thee Stallion teamed up with companies like Cash App to give away millions of dollars to users for investing and to post introductory tutorial videos that help teach people about cryptocurrency. Stockpile is another company known for allowing people to buy gift cards that have small pieces of stocks that you can use or give as a gift. But a survey from late 2021 shows that over 50% of Gen Z investors think that crypto will make them millionaires. Now, this is not surprising because the younger you are, the more likely you are to accept all things digital. But even crypto experts are warning people to make sure that they understand how speculative and new the entire space is. When it comes to gifting stocks or crypto, there's some things that you've got to know. First of all, receiving stocks as a gift is not considered taxable income, regardless of the amount you get. But if the donor gives more than the annual exclusion amount, they're going to need to file a gift tax return. In 2022, the annual exclusion was set to $16,000, up $1,000 from 2021. It's important to know that no gift taxes would actually be due unless the amount that was gifted is higher than what's called the lifetime gift exemption. And as of 2022, that was over $12 million. So it's safe to say that's not a very common thing. If you're curious about crypto, experts say that the first step is to understand the difference between coins or tokens versus the underlying technology of blockchain, which is what allows these digital assets to move from one person to another person without a third party being involved. Regardless, if you're buying, selling, or gifting crypto or stocks, you got to make sure to do your research and not invest any money that you're not prepared to lose.